the life journey to E. Chapter thirty two, out of body experience. Go out and have a look in your lifetime. I repeated his words, changing only the period to a question mark. Yes, out of body experience. You must have heard of it. This is only for private chat. If we talk about it publicly, people will treat me as God stick. Replied Nightwind Bell. I said, I have heard of out body experience. I won't treat you as God stick, but I think you might be out of your mind. Nightwind Bell said, I am not out of the mind, and I am going to find excitement. I want to understand the truth of this world. Despite of the childhood experience, I want to do this also out of curiosity. I have been practicing starlight body traveling intermittently for almost a year. It is said that the soul is like a fork. The soul out of the body is connected with the body by a silver color strap. No matter the astral body goes up to the sky or go down to the ground, this strap is there, like that of a flying kite. There is always a strap holding you. I am not very familiar with starlight body traveling. That is the first time I talked about out of body experience with other people online. It was also since then I started to learn some other information. For example, I know that Monroe is not President Monroe of the United States, and that starlight body traveling is related to Tibetan Buddhism. The similar activities are called astral body projection, which I know only as hearsay and have not delved into it attentively. In this limited understanding, I agree with the objective exploration attitude of Mr. Monroe. If the scientists can try out-of-body experience, and the theologians can practice the spirit of scientific demonstration, people's cognition of this world of Xiang will be more complete. Unfortunately, it is only an idea because both scientists and theologians are afraid of losing control of their current energy field. I will not delve into starlight body traveling deeply, not because I am arrogant. People with their e bodies awakened know where they are going and can see the road under their feet clearly. They walk on their own road and appreciate their own scenery. This is their own life. The road to Isailu is amazing, and I have no interest to look around. Talking about out-of-body experience with Nightwind Bell, I listened more and talked less. In addition to the principle I adhered to, some of what he talked was the same as what I sensed, and some of it not quite the same. Some practitioners take the different worlds or dimensions they reach during out-of-body experience as the sign of different levels of capabilities. They feel that the universe is clear in their heart, therefore reaching the conclusion that we are one. Basing on this, they preach equality and great love. In my opinion, the different worlds they reach is just appearance of Xiang at different levels. Here, what people should do is not to observe, but to break the Xiang. We are individual. The world is made up of different fields. Please refer to the chapter of the wrongly seen world. Although there is only one word difference between "we are one" and "we are individual," both the understanding of life and the energy sensed during out-of-body experience is different. "We are one" does not reflect energy field and balance, and may ignore the respect for individuality. It may even lead to excluding or even getting rid of those who have different opinions. Under the influence of "we are one," people would blindly pursue the sense of belonging outside their own energy fields, hoping for the recognition of values from others. Even the success they pursue is what, in other people's eyes, this has confused a lot of people. That we are individual. Let's us understand that every individual, no matter how small the individual is, is an energy field. The sentient beings are in different energy fields, and their views of the world and views of values are all different. This is normal. We should learn to restrain ourselves, 
respect each other, and follow the balance among the energy fields. You can have your own understanding of life in your own energy field, and you do not have to change or to be kidnapped by other people's ideas. Equality and great love preached by some people look beautiful, and that's it. They are like a carrot in front of a donkey, like a mirage. Equality and great love have become tools for those careerists to fool others. They seek control, but they do not understand balance. They don't want sentient beings to wake up, just like the bosses don't want you to have pursuits other than the nine-to-five life. The world is not one, but is a collection of our energy fields. Therefore, we must understand balance, and it is the only thing we can do. It is balance, not equality. It's for balance, not subversion. This is a bit difficult to understand, but I hope you can. The phrase "jue shi" is a concept peculiar to the world of Yi. Different senses are originated from different jue shi. In the process of out-of-body experience, the phrase "being limited by jue shi" is particularly important. I had not met Nightwind Bell for several days. I succeeded. That was the first sentence he sent to me after he went online again. I was out. My soul was successfully out.